Look at this weather. It's sensational out here. Flat calm. You don't get a lot of days like this, so I'm gonna make the most of it. Got a few fish on the sounder. We're gonna try, see if we can rustle up some tuna or something today. Listen to that. Not a sound. Oh, bloody awesome. I use the same rig for tuna as I do for the kingies, really, just a single hook, single muley. So there's some pretty big fish under the boat, I've just seen them. You can see it on the sounder where it's come up and gone back down. I don't know what that fish was, but it was a good size. It was probably a big sambo. There is a shitload of those out here. The water is crystal clear. It's 17 meters deep here and I can see the bottom. <laughs> like usually on days like this where it's perfect weather, you don't get bugger all. So hopefully we can break that tradition. Water is so clear. That doesn't help either actually. Okay, so there is bait everywhere again out here now. It just keeps coming back around school after school, but it, there is nothing eating it. Birds everywhere. It must be a very quiet day because we are literally surrounded by bait and birds and not a single predatory fish. I'm not sure if the camera is seeing this. Oh, there you go. There's a tuna. Yeah, fishy, 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 fishy. It's starting to get pretty warm out here now. It's like 6.30 in the morning and it's probably 30, 35 degrees. <laughs> it's gonna be a warm one. The water is crystal clear. Look at the bottom. I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up. I can see the weed, the bottom, everything perfectly. You can see my bait sinking down there. I'm gonna drop a little jig down. Gotta have some action, there's a whole wad of bloody Skippy and Samson fish down there, look at this. Look at the Sambos. <laughs> I got a big, big school of Samson fish chasing this Skippy. Look at this thing. The poor Skippy is shitting himself. That's a big skippy. I'm not even remotely interested. This is really unusual for Samson fish. This is insane. There's so many Sambos down there. You can see them. Look at that. They're just laughing at me down there. Look at the amberjack. Look at the amberjacks. Never caught a sized amberjack or eaten one. I've heard they're pretty good and these ones look probably borderline sized so I'm really keen to get one. Look at the skippy down there now. So that's silly looking box fish is on here now. Look at this. There's one good size amberjack down there. The other two are quite small. Well, let's get this thing off. Look at the colors on it. Wow. 
Hopefully now that I've pinned him, he won't come back. All right, I think I've got a little baby Sambo on here now. It's tiny. Anything running under the boat? Look how small that is. <laughs> Still pull hard. That's only a little one. Even though they're small, they're still a good fighting little fish. Now, so that's a Samson fish, quite obviously. If I catch a amberjack, I'll show you the difference. There is a distinct difference. They've got a line across the back of the head here and there are more amber color, as the name would suggest. Off he goes. Crazy. You see the amberjack down there, they're just not interested. Sometimes it's about the bait too. I've got a little bag of squid in there. I wonder if I just waft a bloody squid down instead. Maybe that's what they're after. We'll give that a try after this. Oh, look at the size of that Sambo. Bloody hell. Look at the water out here, far out, it's flat. All right, whatever I've got on here, it ain't big. Let's see if anything follows it up. Look at Pinky. I have no doubt if I probably tied on a lighter leader, I'd have a bit more luck because this water's so clear. You gotta love it when the guys decide they want to pull up right alongside you. Troll their lures in your fucking burly trail. Eh? Gotta be right alongside you. This feels like it might be another little snapper actually. Oh, look at the size of the Sambo behind it. <laughs> look at that. It is another snapper. Look at the Samson fish. Bye, right, buddy. I would have been a bit nervous for him coming up with that thing following it. All right, so we're on the hunt for some bread and butter fish now because not really much else turning it on today. So hoping to bag a few skippy and have some for lunch. So uh, cubes and muley are Another go, feeding those down in the Burley Trail. Let's see if we can't convince one of these things to eat. All right, something has. Feels like a skippy, to be honest. It's got a bit of a good pull. Yeah, little skippy. I might keep this guy. Well, desperate times call for desperate measures. I actually like skippy. They're good eating, so uh, might get one or two of these and have them for lunch. Supposed to be 40 degrees today, it's nice out here. It's a nice breeze. Ooh, had a good hit there. There we go. Probably another snapper or a skippy. Skippy, I'd say.
Got a whole heap of mates following him too. Oh, good size skippy. He's a good size skippy. Nice size skippy. I'll add him to the bucket and we'll have him for lunch. Oh, I'm not sure what I got on here. Feels like another pinky. Yeah, it is. Definitely not what I'm after. Oh, little pinky. Yes, yeah, skippy, skippy, skippy. Another skippy, probably. Come here, little skippuccino. Yep. Cool. Certainly seems like there's no shortage of skippy down there. Not as big as the last few. Probably let that one go. See if we can get a bigger model. This feels like a snapper, this one. Yeah. Not what I'm after. This feels like another snapper now. Bloody things. Where all the skippy go? Hmm. Something a bit different. Oh, look at that, he's just, just lip hooked. What do we got on here? Rim, probably. Yep. Yeah, those are around, but I don't want them. This one feels like another brim. Another one, this one feels like a skippy again. They're proving to be quite difficult to keep on the hook. Might be a brim, this one. Oh, Brimbo. Oh, what is this? Feels different again, this thing. I think it's a skippy. It let go. No, it's still there. Slightly better size, I will keep that one. A 
bad little skip skippy skippuccino he's bleeding a fair bit so i'll keep him been a pretty quiet day today but thankfully all the bread and butter species are around so get a reasonable feed out of those skippies skippy are really nice they are definitely underrated another skippy i would suggest whoa look at the samson fish chasing it See the Samson fish down there chasing that. Come back down there. Yeah, look. <laughs> oh, it's an amberjack. Why aren't they eating the baits, man? I've got a perfectly good bait sitting there waiting for him. Maybe I'll keep this around. Let's see if we can do a bit of switch baiting or something. And then I'll get this. Oh, look at him. Look at him down there. He's a good size amberjack. Why won't it eat it? He's hanging around. Look, look, look. Oh, come on, man. Look at him down there. Here he comes. Oh man, why? He's just teasing me. Look at the size of that one down there. They're just not interested. They just don't want to eat. He's a big unit. Amberjacks, Sambos, Mackies. There's, there's all sorts of stuff going on, but nothing will bloody eat. <laughs> Look at this in here, far out. Oh, let's have a squiz, eh? Oh, look, Taylor. Look at that. Oh, look at the tailor down there. Nothing really following it at all. Okay. Let's keep it going. Skibby up and get them ready for dinner. Okay, to start with, we're going to fill these fish. I'm trying to keep the knife as close to the bones as possible so I don't waste anything. Finish the rest. We're going to skin these now. 
pretty easy, just slide the meat off the skin. It's easier if you give yourself a little skin tag to grip and slide the knife between the skin and the meat and pull. Now we're going to debone them. So we're going to take out the rib bones, what's left of them, and the pin bones in the middle of the fillet. And with those pin bones, you get the majority of that dark bloodline out as well. Well, that's it, guys, for another day. It's pretty hard going. Luckily, the bread and butter species were there to save it. If you like this stuff, as usual, uh, leave me some comments and hopefully like and subscribe. Gives me the motivation to get back out there. Actually, that's not true. I love doing it anyway. But uh, for now, I'm going to enjoy these. And as usual, hope to see you out in the water.